said long <laughs> and I'm not even making this up. I, 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 I had a, 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 a gig last night for the Alabama Workforce Conference in, in Montgomery, and, and a lot of people down there, big old room, room full of folks, and, and they actually asked me to say the blessing. <laughs> I'm like, you got folks who've been at a conference all day long, and the only thing standing between them and food is a stuttering guy. <laughs> Maybe next time. I do appreciate y'all having y'all have been very w w welcoming and hospitable. My table over here, Mickey and them. They they called me. And said, I, 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 I wound up with my butter. I couldn't find it, and then I found it after my meal. It was in my pocket. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually eating a restaurant set where they give you butter like it's like a block of ice, and they expect you to spread it. So I just naturally put it, just like I did the the the, the, the plastic one. It's a natural thing. To and it reminded me of a story that I've never actually told in public. It's a true story. When I was enlisted in the army, I was a a, a medic. I later went to the dark side and became and 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 an officer. So, sorry about that, George. I had to go to the other side, man. <laughs> but, but, but I was stationed at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and, and I was a medic, and they call you doc when you're a medic. And we had a, 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 a guy with a sore throat. Uh, 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 his name was Pickleman. I'll never forget his, his last name because that's such an odd, odd last name. His name was, was Pickleman. And, and he had a... Uh, a sore throat, so I gave him some throat lozenges, and uh, the uh, soldier down on gun whatever and I get my aid bag out of as fast as I can and it's Pickleman and, and he's laid down and he's got his leg elevated above his heart up on his rucksack just you everything you know when you do the treatment whatever had the the the, the combat lifesavers out there high speed guys and, and had his leg elevated and I did a quick patient assessment on him and found out I said what's wrong he said doc my my the leg is that's all numb, I can't feel it. And it took me about 30 seconds to realize that those throat lozenges had melted in his pocket. 